February 8th. Faithfulness in daily life. With goodwill doing service, as to the Lord, and not to men. Ephesians 6 7. The common drudgery of daily life can be a divine calling. We often speak of a young man as being called to the ministry, but it is as fitting to speak of a carpenter being called to the bench, the blacksmith to the forge, and the shoemaker to his last. Brethren, said the apostle, let every man wherein he is called, therein abide with God. Remember that your life has been appointed by God's wise providence. God as much sent Joseph to the drudgery and discipline of the prison as to the glory and responsibility of the palace. Nothing happens to us which is not included in his plan for us, and the incidents which seem most tiresome are often contrived to give us opportunities to become nobler, stronger characters. We are called to be faithful in performing our assigned duties. Not brilliance, not success, not notoriety which attracts the world's notice, but the regular, quiet, and careful performance of trivial and common duties, faithfulness in that which is least is as great an attainment in God's sight as in the greatest. In every piece of honest work, however irksome, laborious, and commonplace, we are fellow workers with God. We must help God to give men their daily bread. It is for him to cause the growth of the corn, but man must reap and thresh, grind out the flour, make and distribute the bread. The tailor is God's fellow workman, helping him to clothe the bodies which he has made to need garments of various textures. The builder cooperates with God in housing his children. The merchant helps to bring the products of the East to refresh and enrich the toiling masses of the West. God uses man in a thousand ways to serve the children of men. Take up your work, then, you who seem to be the nobodies, the drudges, the maid of all work, the clerk, or shop assistant. Do it with a brave heart, looking up to him who for many years toiled at the carpenter's bench. Amid the many scenes and actions of life, set the Lord always before your face. Do all as in his presence, and to win his smile and be sure to cultivate a spirit of love to God and man. Look out for opportunities of cheering your fellow workers. Do not murmur or grumble, but let your heart rise from your toil to God your Maker, Savior, and Friend. So the lowliest service will glisten, as grass blades do when sun and dewdrops garnish them. Prayer Be not far from me, O Lord, this day and through all its hours may I be found doing those things which are well-pleasing in thy sight. Amen.